Nomadic. What's going on guys? I'm Nomadic and today we're at episode two of the MPC Renaissance slash studio video series. Today we're going to be talking about software and if you haven't seen any of the other episodes, make sure you start in episode one just so you get an idea of what's going on. So today we're going to be talking about how you can use the MPC software, uh, whether you're using it as uh, your main, you're using a main sound card with it, or you, you want to use your MPC Renaissance if you have one as your sound card, how to set up your MIDI devices, and a couple of other things too. So we're going we're gonna to get into that right now. So when you first fire up the MPC software, this is the first screen that you're going to get. But in order to use the software, you have to set up your audio settings first. So we're going to go into the edit screen and then we're going to hit preferences. So under the audio tab, under audio device type, you want to make sure ASIO is selected. ASIO is basically just the professional um, audio driver. Um, so under device, this is where you can change things up a little bit. So for me, I am using the MPC Renaissance. And because the MPC Renaissance already has the sound card within it, and because I want to use the inputs and outputs on the device, I'm going to select MPC Renaissance ASIO driver after installing all the drivers. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to configure my inputs and my outputs. So right here, outs 1 and 2 refer to the stereo outs, and it also refers to the SPDIF output too. Outs 3 and 4 refer to the assignable mix outs, but I'm not going to be using those at all. I'm just going to be using outs 1 and 2. So I'm just going to check that. And the input here, input 1 and 2, refers to the combi jacks on the back and RCA uh, input. Now, I'm just going to be using the combi jacks in this demonstration, so I'm just going to have in 1 and 2 selected. And everything else, you can just leave it as these settings right here, as the default settings. Now, if I were using a, a different sound card with my MPC Renaissance, like this one, for instance, I have the uh, Focusrite Scarlett 18i6, which has a lot of inputs and a lot of outputs. So it, all, it would also be very, it's also be very beneficial to me to also use that alongside it. Um, or if you're using the MPC Studio, your setup would probably be similar like this, where you'd have a sound card that would be handling everything. And as you can see, everything is displayed here. All my inputs are in this channel right here, or in this, this menu, and all my outputs are up here as well. So you can set that up however way you like, but just make sure you understand um, which one you want to be using um, with your particular setup. Now, in the MIDI tab, this is where you can select to have a MIDI controller hooked up to it. So for me, I have a synthesizer already hooked up uh, via USB. That's this one right here. So if I check it and I play keys on the synthesizer, you can see that the MIDI notes are registering. So you can do it that way, or if you want to use the uh, you, uh, MIDI inputs on the back of the MPC Renaissance, I think the studio also has um, a MIDI input as well. The MPC port 1 and 2 both refer to the MIDI inputs on the back. And this one right here is a MIDI input I have on my sound card, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you get it set up. All right, I hope that was clear. Next week, we're going to be talking about uh, the browser, and we're also going to be talking about how you can load samples onto the pads. So stay tuned.